So we have a PLC3 project here finalized, and here a um, student has uh, wired in, is it, being this is a lab, we're limited in what we can do, um, and ideally the original thought was to do a PID loop with a motor b controlling, uh, you know, basically a motor being output to control um, the pressure uh, the pressure of, a, of a, and uh, as well as a cylinder, being controlled both of them with variable frequency. Um, right now everything is tied in um, by a rheostat through the VFD and the PLC. So we're using analog, you can see the transducer up in the corner, but everything is being controlled by this HMI. So if I start the HMI, you can see the variable frequency kick on, and look, the motor is kicking on too. But in theory, this should be being controlled by a real life um, feedback loop, but in this case, it's controlled by this rheostat. And you can see that the variable frequency kick on as I turn up the rheostat to a max output. Um, and if you notice too, the cylinder is also got kicked back with, because the transducer is kicking out a output as well. So I can turn this down again and you can hear the transducer let off pressure. Kind of cool. Meanwhile, you can see the FD, you can see that everything being controlled and monitored in real time. On the, H on the HMI. You can also switch to a manual mode where you can, instead of controlling it through the potentiometer, you can control the frequency through the HMI. And you can see it's kicking up to about 50, give or take some uh, line frequency. And then it'll tell you whether it's in manual mode or Automatic. auto mode. And when you press stop, it tells you when stop has been tripped. And stop has been tripped. So this is kind of a few things that we're doing here at, at Ivy Tech, uh, best of our can. And this student has been through his uh, through his education is now gain, gainfully employed in a local industry, doing good things. And uh, he was a, a healthcare worker. Now he's done this and didn't know anything about an industry before coming to Ivy Tech. So cool stuff.